Today is the 78th anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz-Birkenau death camp in Poland. This camp was liberated by the Soviet army 78 years ago. And today there will be commemorations at this site um, for those lost in the Holocaust and particularly those lost at that camp. Incredibly, Russia is not invited to this commemoration. They claim because of the operations in Ukraine. Of course, there are huge ironies here. Again, it was the Soviet Union that liberated Auschwitz. Uh, you can go and find old clips of the Red Army soldiers going and freeing uh, the prisoners in that camp. And now history is being rewritten as if Russia and the Soviet Union had little to nothing to do with the defeat of the Nazis in World War II, even though the Soviets lost 27 million people, defeating Nazi Germany, and about 85 to 90 percent of the Germans were killed on the Eastern Front. This type of falsification of history is so dangerous because what it does is it in continues to stoke hatred against Russia as we now near, you know, a potentially dangerous World War III. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists just this week said, uh, move the clock three seconds to midnight, the closest it has ever been, indicating that we're the closest we've ever been to a nuclear war. This type of anti-Russian hatred that's being promoted only pushes us closer to Armageddon. At the same time, Russia's being uninvited from these types of events. Ukraine, uh, which actually does have uh, neo-Nazis in its ranks, uh, is invited to these celebrations. Again, their crimes being uh, whitewashed. So all of this uh, is part of the West falsification of history. It's very dangerous, and we need to set the record straight. Thank you.